It's September, which means it's time to go gold for the Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. According to PeopleAgainstChildhoodCancer.org, around 15,780 children will be diagnosed with some form of pediatric cancer before the end of 2014. But childhood cancer only gets 4% of the funding from the National Cancer Institute. Fox UP's Kelsey Nemisto has more. Kelsey. Ben, you know, all cancer is scary, but the numbers when you break them down, especially with childhood cancer, are really, really quite dramatic. Now, the average adult is diagnosed at age 67, losing about 15 years of life to cancer. The average child is diagnosed at age 6, losing about 71 years of life to cancer. The difference is huge, and mothers like Tanya Etlamaki say bringing about public awareness needs to be more aggressive when it comes to pediatric cancer. It's a month for everybody to just learn more about childhood cancer and get the message out there that cancer does not discriminate and our children need more funding and they need more voices and people fighting for them. Everybody knows um, what color October is, but very few people know that September is gold gold for our kids. At the Etlamaki home, you'll notice the usual toys and knickknacks around the house and school pictures on the walls, but one little boy in particular has an entire wall dedicated to him, forever four-year-old Brody. My son um, never walked without assistance again after his first surgery to remove a part of the brain tumor. And at the end, it, he was trapped in his own body. Little Brody was diagnosed with pediatric brain cancer at the tender age of three. He fought hard with his family for about a year before the cancer took him. But his family is still fighting, making sure Brody's fight wasn't in vain. Our son passed away in April, and I'm continuing the fight for him because I don't want somebody else to go through this. I don't want another child to go through what Brody went through and another family to go through what we went through. They all still carry many fond memories of Brody, his mother saying he was all boy, loving trucks and dirt and four-wheelers. Him riding around his four-wheeler. He was funny. To raise awareness of childhood cancer, Brody's family is keeping his memory alive by telling his story and raising funds through their Brody Strong Foundation, dedicated to raising funds for pediatric brain cancer research. Tanya says one of many problems with pediatric cancer is the treatment. She says it's just like giving over-the-counter adult pain medication to little children. Our children are getting scaled-down adult drugs. My son got all the same drugs that they give to adult glioblastoma patients. You know, their little bodies can't take that. You know, some children, if the cancer doesn't kill them, the, the drugs that they were given to treat the cancer will kill them. Tanya says cancer as a whole is very important, but pediatric cancer is our children, our future. There are multiple ways to raise awareness and funds for childhood cancer. Fundraise, participate in awareness projects, and speak publicly about the horrifying statistics. Tanya says there is even a Whip It challenge going on around Facebook, similar to the cold water and ice bucket challenges. You take some whipped cream in the face and donate in the name of childhood cancer. For some links to local childhood cancer foundations and for more information, please visit UpperMichiganSource.com. Ben? All right, thanks, Kelsey. Thanks.